You're probably familiar with Gmail. They've been giving out free accounts for years, um, one of the most popular free email providers. But you might not have known that you can use Gmail for your business email. Um, they have an office suite called G Suite. So instead of using something like Microsoft Office 365 or Outlook uh, for your email or the email included with your host, you can use G Suite. So it's a really cool suite of tools for your business. It includes everything like Drive, uh, Docs, Sheets, all that stuff, but you can brand it to your business. So you can have your business icon, you can even have um, your business domains forward to that. So that's pretty cool. So with G Suite, you can have multiple users. Um, you know, if you have multiple employees, you can set them each up with the email address. And, you know, it's like $5 a month for those each user. Uh, and then if you want the, you know, if you want more storage and all that, it's $10 a month. But this video, I'm going to give you a back end tour of the G Suite admin console. Um, it, it may not look exactly like this for you. Um, Google's always changing stuff, and for every user, everything looks different. So it's really hard to cover all the possibilities. But this is uh, this is what it looks like for me, and so I just want to kind of give you a tour of what the back end looks like. Um, you know, because the front end it looks exactly like uh, Gmail. There's really no difference between having your email address at gmail.com and for me having it at expanse.com. It just uh, you know, I have it branded for my company and it uses my domain um, instead of like the Google image or Gmail image showing up in the upper left hand corner. Uh, it shows up with my logo and I'll show you where you can change that. So uh, one of the first things you can do is set up a user. Um, they have users right here and I'm the only one set up. Um, company's just me right now so I don't have any employees or anything like that. but but it is easy to add a new user. Um, they have this pretty familiar stuff with most of the other Google applications. Um, you can add a user or you can add multiple users. So you can actually have a comma separated value document and add a whole sheet of users. That'll make it easy, but I'm just gonna show you adding one user. It's really easy, you just have to type in first name, last name, uh, the primary email address and then I actually have two domains my old one and then my new one so I would just you know select Expanse and then you can also um, you can also include additional information like a secondary email address I can use that for things like recovering a password stuff like that uh, and then address you can put whatever you want in there and there's a lot of other stuff like employee ID, employee type, their title, all this stuff. So when, you know, kind of like creating an employee directory, you can have a searchable directory inside Gmail. So you can have all kinds of predefined contacts that are already there. So you don't have to create contacts over and over. You can just, you know, have it updated from the system here. I'm going to cancel that though because I don't want to create a new user but I am gonna go inside my user and you can see you can change people's photos in here and then of course they can do that from their account also. Uh, and then I'm a super admin, but everybody will have different permissions. You can choose what they have uh, access to and there's cool stuff like you can see how much mail storage each person is using and the documents they own. Um, and then you can, you know, as an, a super admin, you can reset passwords. Uh, you can move, you can actually set up different organizations. So if you have different, um, you know, if you have a parent company and child companies, you can set up different organizations there. So they could each have their own domain, uh, but still be tied up under the same, you know, the same umbrella. Um, so you can, you can move people within the organization. Um, and you can also do groups. So groups are kind of cool. You can, you know, create mailing lists within your company. So similar to in Outlook, uh, you would have an email list where you could send an email to, you know, sales. And it will send that email to everybody in sales instead of just one person. So kind of like a group email. And then these little three dots, is a that's a menu where you can do additional things like, um, you know, you can delete the user. Don't do that for me. 
Uh, you can rename, do all that stuff. Uh, and then there's account details here. This is the stuff that I typed in. So, you know, it has the backup email address. Uh, I actually have a bunch of aliases set up. Uh, you can even set up a Google Plus profile for your company, you know, for each user. And then you can even have a hidden user so they don't share contacts. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then it'll give you a breakdown of the storage used for each thing. Um, and then you can actually enable and disable different services for G Suite. So this is great, um, you know, and you can see an overview of what some of the services are that are provided with this. Um, you know, you get a company calendar and you can create, you know, shared calendars for different events, all kinds of cool stuff like that. You have contacts, Google Drive, Gmail. Um, you have Google Talk and Hangouts, so you can do that within your company, all included. Uh, you have Groups for Business. So Groups for Business is those mailing lists again, and then you can also have discussion groups, so it's actually on a website where you can have conversations in that group. Uh, you can also create sites, so this is kind of like SharePoint a little bit. Uh, it's not really as powerful as SharePoint. Um, but in some ways it's easier. So I'm in zero groups, but you can edit groups here. Um, and then of course you can choose your license. So there's one license. Uh, I'm a $5 a month billing, uh, but you can get more space for 10. And then you can manage the licenses for everyone. Uh, and then there's things like security. Ooh. You can turn off or on two-step verification. Uh, you can do, you know, check their password, make sure it's secured. So that's security rule, and you can look at privileges of the user, um, devices assigned. I, I don't have any, I think that's for Android devices. I don't have any of those. And then there's tons of different services that you can en enable or disable. I'm not going to go through all of those. That's a lot. So I'm going to show less again. Uh, and you know, it simplifies it right here, but then you can expand it with all those details. So I'm going to go back to users. Uh, and then of course, each one of these has, you know, you can download user lists, all that good stuff. But I'm going to go back to home. And then there's a menu over here. And you can see how I have it branded. So I have my logo right there. So you can access groups here. You can create a group, uh, and it you know has the email address right here, uh, name of the group. So I can make a sales group, so they can have. Yeah, you know, I can make a sales group, so they can have their own sales thing, and I can make. Um, so you can actually control different access levels. You can read each one of these and see what each one does. Public means it's just open to everyone. People from outside the organization can email you. Uh, and then to make it easy, you can add all users. Um, since I'm the only user, just add me. I'm not going to do that, though. And then there's reports. Um, you can see who's using what, uh, what they're doing. So number of users, active users, suspended, all that storage they're using. Um, you know, all kinds of details about who's using the system and what they're doing with it. Uh, next is company profile. Um, this is where I configure, you know, the company name. Oops. I, something's broken here. I don't know. Sometimes that happens and we'll just go to personalization. So this is where you can create your own logo. So you can use the default logo, Google, but if you're running this for your company, you probably want to brand it. Uh, and it gives you some basic guidelines on what the size should be. Um, even if your logo is not that size, make the image the 320 by 132 pixels, and then just plop your logo right in the middle of that. So it'll align great in Gmail and all that. It'll look good. So you just choose a file and upload. And that's it for that. And then you can do things like custom URLs. You can do mail dot, you know, well, I'm gonna do Experience. 
And you can do things like mail.experience.com. Now really all that does is enable people to type in mail.experience.com, but it'll redirect to you know, the google.com system and ask you to sign in uh, using your, your company email address. Uh, and then there's more supplemental data storage, legal and compliance, all that good stuff. Is profile working? No, it's still not working. It was working earlier. We'll come back to that. Um, there's apps, uh, so you can enable the G Suite apps. You can enable and disable, you know, choose who you want to have access for each one. Or there's all kinds of other apps that you can enable or disable. There's tons of them from Google services. Uh, and then there's marketplace apps even. You can install stuff from other providers. So I haven't got too much into that. So, And then of course SSO settings so you can tie it into your website. You can do all kinds of really cool stuff. And then you can uh, manage devices. You can enter your billing information. I'm not going to show you that. Uh, and then there's more controls down here at the bottom. So you can change admin roles, security. Um, you can even change your domain. So. You notice I have two domains, and it gives me a test domain also. Uh, and I'm going to go back home and more controls. Uh, and then you can get support. So they actually give you a special phone number to call and then a PIN number. So the PIN expires when you get it. So I mean, you can call that phone number, but you're not going to get anywhere because you need the PIN number, and I'm not going to show you mine. Uh, it's only good for an hour anyway. Um, and you can even migrate data from your free account, from Outlook, wherever. You can e you can migrate all that. So that makes it pretty easy. Uh, and then there's alerts that uh, the Google Admin Console always gives you um, right here. You know, any new updates. You see I have one February, January, December, all the way back. Just going back with all kinds of updates. And then there's a little help icon up here too and you can send feedback or you can phone them from right here. But you'll need a pen, pin. So then it gives you a link to that support thing again. It gives you the phone numbers and a link. And then we'll close that. And then this little icon, you know, setup, you can take a tour. Setup has things like migrating your old mail, all that. It's just kind of a wizard to help you get acquainted. And then look at this. There's additional info over here with like mobile users and recommended apps and cool stuff like that. But I'm gonna go see if the company profile's working. No, it's still not working. I don't know why. But you can change basic things like your company name, who your company contact is, stuff like that, anything. So. There you have it. That is, in a nutshell, a pretty long nutshell, uh, the admin console for Gmail or Google or G Suite, whatever you want to call it. It used to be called Google Business or I don't know. It, it's gone through different names. They just rebranded it to G Suite. Um, but to log in, once you get set up with it, uh, you can log into admin.google.com and use your company email address and the admin can control all the users for your email. And it's really easy to manage, uh, a lot easier than trying to do something like Exchange uh, from Microsoft that uh, can be expensive and difficult to manage. I put the links in the description um, so you can check out the accounts, you can sign up if you want, do whatever. Um, and then of course you can access the admin panel so go check it out have fun enjoy now that you've checked out an experience video to help you expand your small business online presence be sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos as they come out or you can check out the ebook that will help you grow your email list without even having a website in case you don't have one or you could check out another video